This is the Coachman Pastiche 545. It's going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. On the side of the caravan, you've got your gas connection for your external gas barbecue point. You've got your wind down leg for the front left hand side of the caravan. Um, so you wind down the legs and touch them on the ground um, so that they just literally touch the ground rather than lifting the caravan. If you lift the caravan with these legs, it can damage the floor of the caravan. Locker here uh, is a storage locker for the front seating area. You've got the blown air point on the outside of the caravan, so when you've got the heating turned on, you can have the blown air coming out into your awning, should you wish to. You've got the main door for the caravan. You've got the motor mover. Uh, I'll demonstrate that while you're here on site to show you how that works um, during the handover procedure. We'll then also come up to the... Uh, ...toilet system. So we'll open up the toilet flush tank. This tank here will take three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. That's your toilet flush tank. You need to keep an eye on the level of that so you can top it up when needed. You've then got your toilet waste cassette, which you pull up the orange handle and pull the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out 90 degrees so you can tip the waste away. Grey cap here is a measure for the pink and the blue fluid. On the back of this cassette, you'll notice there's an orange pressure relief button. So when you are tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and spider back at you. Um, in this cassette, you'll need to put one liter of water and a cap full of the blue fluid prior to use, so it breaks down the waste uh, when you're using it. The orange handle here at the bottom does actually come out, as you can see. So you can pull the cassette along when you are emptying the cassette. back of the caravan either side you've got your wind down legs to stabilize the caravan again while it is on site like I said they are just there for stabilizing and not lifting if you lift the caravan with these legs it could potentially damage the floor of the caravan coming down the door side of the uh, the off side of the caravan you'll actually see the water pump connection just here water pump connection connects straight into the side of the van. The blue button here allows you to release it as you can see. And to put it into the side of the caravan you push the button down and release the blue uh, button again so it locks it into place and the pickup pipe itself will drop down inside the aqua. I'll show you how to fill the water system once we're inside the caravan. Then got our storage locker for the outside of the van. Uh, sorry, battery locker for the, uh, for the caravan. So you've got your 110 amp leisure battery in here which has been purchased as part of the Super, Star uh, Super Starter Pack. And then you've got your main hookup lead that connects straight into the side of the caravan from the power on site. Got the last of your wind down legs down the bottom here and your heating and hot water flue. You'd never cover up this heating and hot water flue because it does get very hot when it's in use. Um, if you did cover it, the toilet can actually melt anything that's put there or burn potentially anything that is there. The hookup to the car is something we'll go through in person here on site and like I said we'll demonstrate all of that and we'll also demonstrate the ATC to how that works when you are here. Gas bottle in the front locker, very simple to use. Gas valve on top which you can just about see there in the video. Open is on, closed is off and you will actually see that rotate on the top of the uh, gas valve on top of the bottle. The pipe work that goes into the bottle is a reverse thread fitment, so you need to turn it the opposite way to what you would on a standard fitment, uh, gas or ga a standard um, thread, so you reverse and everything else to release it, and you turn it the opposite way to tighten it. Going on to the inside of the caravan now. Very simple to use. Once inside the van, First thing we're going to do is make sure the two yellow drain down valves underneath the seat are parallel with the floor as they are at the moment. Those two yellow valves are the drain down valves for the water system on board the van. If they were pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, all of the water on board the caravan would drain back out onto the floor underneath the van and you'd have no water going to the taps. So during the winter you would need to make sure both of these yellow valves are pointing up towards the bottom of the seat when you are not using the caravan. Once them valves are parallel with the floor, you can open up all the taps on board the caravan to bleed the water system. So as you see, I've already actually done that on this particular caravan. That's all the taps open, all the taps open in the kitchen. 
Like I said, because I've already bled the water, so I'm not going to open them all up. But you'll open the tap in the kitchen on the hot side, the bathroom, the shower tap, and also the sink in the bathroom tap, all open on the hot side. Once all them taps are open, you'll come to the water pump above the door, and you'll turn the water pump on so it says pump on in this box on the left hand side. At that point, the water system will start filling. Once the water system is full, you'll have water running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan, as we have here. And once you are at that point, you can actually start warming the water on board the caravan. So to warm the water, we have a control panel on the opposite side of the van here, which is the TrueMet heating and hot water control or command panel, essentially. You've got power on and off on this bottom left hand side so i'm just going to turn it off to show you how it works and you'd always turn this off prior to turning the main controls off above the door this while that is turning itself off you have your master power switch here which you would need to turn on prior to turning on the water pump uh, so you would need to make sure your master power is turned on for the water pump or anything else inside the caravan to work you've got your lights internal lighting which will turn all the internal lights on and off and your awning light for the outside of the caravan there is some advanced options in this control panel for changing time, etc. On the screen for this, we do advise you read the manual that comes with the caravan. Once the power's on above the door and you've bled the water system, you can turn the heating and hot water control panel on. As you can see, it's now loaded up. First option we come to just here is your room temperature. Very simple to set the room temperature, minus or plus, depend it or up, sorry, to turn the temperature up and down to turn the room temperature down. Select the room temperature, hit set, and that'll be the room temperature set, and it will start warming up to the selected room temperature. Middle button here is to select the power source you want the heating and hot water to run from. So if you're on a site with four amps available, for instance, you can select four amps, eight amps, uh, gas on its own if you're off grid, four amps and gas if you wanted to boost that system at all when you're showering on board the caravan. So again, the gas will warm up the heating and hot water systems quicker. Um, and if you want to boost it, I would advise using the gas option down here. So you can select that and select the gas option. It's not going to ignite at the moment. It will actually fail to ignite in a moment on gas and it will come up on the screen letting you know it has failed. Here on site, we're gonna run it on 230 volt, four amp, because that's the power supply we've got available. And like I said, if you've got more power available, the heating and hot water systems, heating and hot water systems will run more efficiently or the gas supply um, for, like I said, boosting it if you are off grid or if you're off grid, sorry, uh, will work much more efficiently. To turn on the water temperature, very simple to do. You've got the arrow at the side here again. Select whether you want the water on or off. At the moment, it's actually selected as on. We're just going to turn it off for now as we've got the heating system on. Um, but if you want to warm the water system up, hit the water icon. Put your arrow down so it's next to the water option. Hit set and the water system will start warming up to 60 degrees of water temperature. So that is your heating and hot water control panel. Very simple to use. Um, there is some advanced options in there again, that again, we do advise you read the manual that comes with the caravan, and it'll actually allow you to set timers for the heating and hot water programs. If I tried to explain this in the video or in person, it'd take me around two hours. Down below the heating and hot water control panel, you'll find the fridge. The fridge, very simple to use, you turn it on, with the power button just here at the bottom. On the screen here, it's coming up with your mains power option for running the fridge on, and I can control the temperature on mains, on the button, on the right hand side. Obviously the more blocks that are lit up on this right hand side, the colder the fridge will be. We can also change the power source. So for instance here, we've got 12 volt for when we're towing down the road. So once you connect it to the car, you can use the fridge as a cool box. If you're not going to get connected to the car, then the fridge will not work as a cool box at all. Um, and the fridge will not work off the 12 volt supply on the caravan. It is solely the 12 volt supply on the car. Hence why it's flashing at the moment, because we have no car connected at the front of the caravan. Gas, if you want to use the fridge on gas, it's very simple to do. You turn the gas bottle on in the front locker. You'll come inside the caravan. Ignite the hob first, because that's the last point on the gas system. Once you've got gas through to the hob, then you'll be able to use everything else on board the caravan on gas also. And you very simply select the gas option on the fridge by using the button on the right left hand side here. 
as you can see, gas option. The blue light here in the center at the bottom is your pilot light for the fridge. If that starts flashing as it has done now, then the fridge has actually failed to ignite on gas. The reason it's done that at the moment for is the gas is actually turned off in the front locker, so we don't use the gas in the nice new bottle that is on there. Again, if you're on gas, you can control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side here. Again, the more blocks you light up, the colder the fridge will be. Hob grill and oven all work very much the same as your household appliances. The same as the microwave in the cupboard behind me. Um, there is some manuals with the caravan in the book pack just there for how these work. Just down on the floor, underneath the front seating area, you've actually got your 240 trip switches at the top there. So you can turn or, or isolate power should you need to 240 systems on board the caravan. We also got your 12 volt fuse at the bottom for when you're running the fridge, uh, for when you're running the caravan on 12 volt. If you're not sure if you've got mains power coming into the caravan when you're on the site you're going to, hit the uh, white test button here. If you hit that button and the trip switch drops down to the bottom, it means you have no mains power coming into the caravan. Also, it means you do have mains power coming to the caravan. If that does not drop down, when you hit that button, it means there is no mains power coming into the caravan at all from the site you are. Coming to the back of the caravan now, or into the bathroom area. Toilet system is very easy to use. Electric flush on the toilet just here. Toilet full indicator light, that red light will appear when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. The toilet seat itself turns for your convenience, so you can turn the seat to the position you want it to be, as you can see here. Then below the toilet you have a grey waste handle, which allows the waste into the toilet cassette underneath the caravan. So this is the Coachman Pastiche 545. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect a caravan. Bye-bye.